Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So today's video was going to be an opinion piece on Jared Bowen potentially playing a few more games next season as striker at West Ham United. So I recorded it, computer crashed, lost it. Re-recorded it, computer crashed, lost it. Did it for a third time and I'm not doing it anymore. I've given up, I'm fed up trying, I've given up. And if you're thinking you sound a bit grumpy about it, Gio, you're correct, I am a bit grumpy about it. So turn to my trusted pink book the rumors are here written down this can't crash that's not going anywhere and welcome to the improvised west ham transfer rumor show with a little bit of a twist tonight it's a bit different because there's just as many players being linked with a move away from west ham as there is to west ham united but before we talk about a couple of potential departures let's look at a couple of the rumors incoming at west ham united starting with jonathan david now we've all heard of him He's been linked to us for ages now, especially back in January. Very heavily linked to us and Arsenal, who I think we've got a little bit of a boost, actually, in regards to Arsenal. We'll get on to that in a second. I'm going to go off at a tangent happily because I'm improvising tonight. It's it's not the real West Ham Transfer Rumours show. I wasn't meant to be doing it tonight. Didn't want to do it. It was meant to be tomorrow's video. Anyway, Jonathan David. I don't believe it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just don't believe this rumour. Been linked to him for a little while. I think he ticks some of David Moyes' boxes, what we're looking for in a striker. But I'm just not convinced we will see him at West Ham United next season. Not to say I wouldn't like to see him at West Ham. I would. I think he's a fantastic striker. We know he's on the move in January. His agent said he's not going anywhere. He's staying put at Lille until the summer. Then he's off ski. But he's going to see out the rest of the season with him. He's done that now, so he's likely to be on the move. I'm just not convinced it's to the London Stadium. But if it was, £55 million is the price he's been rumoured for. Now, in regards to the Arsenal thing, I wonder West Ham's had a little bit of a boost, actually. Because whenever we have been linked to sort of strikers like Jonathan David or that, quite often Arsenal's name's been popping up. But I'm aware it's just paper talk. But I wouldn't be surprised if we are in the market for some of the players that Arsenal are this summer and why wouldn't we be because that's the direction we're heading in we are now competing with the likes of Arsenal and Spurs than we are with the likes of say Southampton and Everton and Brighton we're no longer really competing with them we're trying to move on and trying to upgrade the caliber of player and I think we will s sign some players that those clubs are also interested in say uh, Keane Lewis Potter for example we'll sign him I'd imagine the likes of Southampton are looking at him too but I also think we're dipping our toe in the other talent pool which is getting players in that want to play European football, that are the elite of European football already, like Jonathan David. So Arsenal missed out, well, they pretty much missed out on Champions League football, haven't they? They got smashed by Newcastle last night. They've absolutely bottled the top four of Arsenal. And so Sunday comes around, Tottenham need just a point against Norwich to get fourth. Now it's going to take a dramatic Spursy to happen for our Arsenal to go and get fourth. So that's a set they're going to be in the Europa League next season. Well, that's got to alter the transfer strategy at the Emirates this summer. Surely, the players they've been linked to is Jesus, Sterling, Aaron Hickey. And they better not get Aaron Hickey. I will not be happy if Aaron Hickey goes to Arsenal. They don't even need him. They've got Kevin Tierney. How many Scottish left-backs do you want? Leave Aaron H leave Hickey alone, please, because I've got a video next week with Hickey in it. I don't want to have to re-record that one as well. So, enough re-recording. I want Hickey at West Ham. Anyway, shall we get back to transfer rumours? Emmanuel Dennis of Watford. I spoke about him last week. I just mentioned it and didn't really go into detail. But I shall dive into it a little bit today. Been linked to him again once more for £20 million. He's set to leave Watford after they've got relegated. Watford took a bit of a risk, I think, on him last summer. Three, three and a half million. So it turned out to be a, a bargain. One of the best signings of the season. But there was a large element of risk there for Watford because... We know he's had some attitude problems and some disciplinary issues as well in the past. Seems to have behaved himself relatively well at Watford this season. And I know he's not been in the greatest form in the last two or three months. But you know something, I'm putting that down to Roy Hodgson actually. I'm giving Emmanuel Dennis the benefit of the doubt. Because when I've watched Watford, and funnily enough, I've only watched him once under Roy Hodgson. Just because I don't like Roy Hodgson football. Right? I don't like him. How can you have an attack with Saar, Dennis... You've got Pedro, you've got um, Josh King. I'm not even Josh King's biggest fan. But how can you just have no creativity or goals with that as your attack? Anyway, so I think uh, Dennis has been somewhat hindered a little bit with Roy Hodgson at the helm. So I'm not going to read too much into his form. And I think on the pitch, 
I think he ticks a lot of the boxes for David Moyes. He's versatile, can play anywhere across the front, gets goals, gets assists, work hard, he's fast. All is good. It's sort of off the pitch. I'm not too sure David Moyes would be too keen on. We often talk about it as the Moyes MOT test, and I'm not sure that this guy would pass it. Um, 20 million, it's, it's, it's a chunky price. I wouldn't say it's overly expensive. I think there's better out there in European football than Emmanuel Dennis. Of course, you take the risk that he may not settle into the Premier League somewhat as well as Emmanuel Dennis has done. But I don't believe this rumour. Um, I think he's a good player. If he'd come, I'd be happy enough. Just a little bit wary as to how he'd get on under David Moyes. But maybe someone like Moyes is exactly what um, Emmanuel Dennis needs. Anyway, before we get on to the departures, that's coming up. This video is sponsored by the One Football app. The link is in the description and the pink comments of said video. Please download it to your device. It takes approximately oh, 20 seconds and it costs um, absolutely nothing. Completely free app. Get it downloaded. It'll ask for your favourite club. You click it. You click on your badge and it gives you all the news. That's where I've got half of these rumours from. That's where I've got the news about Masuaku and Diop from the One Football app earlier today. Keep up to date with all the injury news ahead of the big weekend in Premier League. Got some big games left, haven't we? Southampton, Liverpool tonight. Then we've got a, a few catch-up games on Thursday night as well. Nothing that really involves West Ham, but Crystal Palace play, which might have a domino effect on how they get on against Man United on Sunday. And so everything that you need this summer to keep up to date with what's going on in the transfer window is on this app. It's fantastic, it's free, and the link's in the description. Now, Maswaku and Diop have been linked with a move away to West Ham away from West Ham United. Not to anyone in general, just that we're putting them up for sale. We're hoping to offload them this summer. Let's deal with them separately. Masuaku, yes please. I'd like to see him moved on. You know, I've got no complaints in regards to how he's been as a servant to the club or that. And like I said, one thing I've noticed this season, whenever we win, even if he's on the bench and doesn't come on, he's there on social media, picking up the boys and stuff. And I like that. It's, it's, it's nice to see, actually, because sometimes players can be a little bit spiteful, I guess, if they're not involved, even if the team's performing well and they're being left out. Um, it's just... We don't really have a position for him. I think he's like a left wing back if he is going to have a role. And even then... I'd still rather see Ben Johnson ahead of him. So I think moving him on is the right thing to do. And I also want to see us in the market for a left-back <coughs> um, this summer to come in and minimum compete with Aaron Creswell next season and then look to replace him. A succession plan, if you like. And at best, somebody that's going to come in that's better than Aaron Creswell. We can link to a couple of them. Get on to them in just a second. But it's a Diop. I mean, this would be a bit of a sad one, wouldn't it? He was outstanding when he first came in. I think he's had a relatively good season actually we just haven't seen enough of him but even in some games you know around about february march time where he'd had a couple of good games and we had the european fixtures and there was a little bit of scope for rotation of zuma and dawson why he still didn't rotate you know dawson deal still didn't get into the team and i think that says a lot really i think he still holds quite a lot of value in the transfer market you know 15 to 20 million i imagine we'd get that Gives Moyes a lot of flexibility. I guess the key question is, can we replace this deal for the fee we will receive? I'd imagine the answer is pretty easily. At present, once they're all fit, he's fourth choice centre-back, isn't he? Behind Zuma, Ogbonna and um, Dawson. If they're all fit and Ogbonna, and Ogbonna recovers well from his injury, he's fourth choice. It's a lot of money for your fourth choice centre-back, regardless of who you are, actually, what team you are. So, Diop, be, be sad to see him go. I think he's a good centre-back. I think he'll go and have a good career. If he gets his move right, I think he could, you know, really go from being average to being excellent, just like that. Um, and, and, you know, I wish him well. I've got absolutely no issues with him leaving. Um, I trust Moyes on this one, actually. Another player being linked away from West Ham United, but again, to no club, just uh, West Ham are going to try and sell him, is Nikola Vlasic. Now, this has been a disaster of a signing. And I'm not talking about a disaster of a player here because I think like to think I've stuck up for him enough this season. I still think there is a good player there. But we will look back on the January transfer window a little bit and, and just wonder what if. What if we signed a striker? What if we did this? Could we have challenged a little bit more in the second half of the season? But actually, if you rewind to last summer... What if we sign someone else instead of Nikola Vlasic? Because we only made two permanent signings. Kurt Zuma, who's been magnificent. And Nikola Vlasic, who... It's not, it's not worked, has it? Um, I'm not writing him off. Like I said, 
But we can't afford to spend 25 million on someone and basically say, okay, well, we'll give you a year. We won't even play you. And then we'll hopefully get the best out of you. We can't afford to do that. This was a bad signing for us this season. It's not worked. I'd be While I wouldn't be disappointed if Diop left, I would be disappointed if Vlasic left, but I would completely understand it. If, hypothetically, we got our fee back, 20, 25 million back, would you take it? I'd imagine most of you are saying yes. Do you think we could replace Vlasic for 20, 25 million? I'd imagine most of you are saying yes as well. You know, you look at Keane Lewis Potter we've been linked to, he would cost probably around about 20, 18, 20 million. There you go, he's replaced already, essentially. Um, it would be a bit sad because I think he's, I think there's a player in there. We've just not seen it at West Ham. Um, hopefully we'll see it next season, but we shall wait and see. Now, Jared Bowen's been linked to Manchester United. No, honestly, he has. Someone's actually said that Man United want Jared Bowen. Um, I don't believe this in the slightest. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Like, I struggle to make an argument as to why this might be true. You know, they're bulking over spending 150 million on debt Well, they're not going to spend 70 million or whatever on Jared Bowen, are they? To play in a position that Jaden Sancho occupies at Man U. There's just no way this rumour is true. It's quite laughable, actually, isn't it? But I don't make them up. I just talk about them and dismiss 99%, as you can tell. Anyway, um, we've been linked to a couple of left-backs now. So the first one is Juventus left-back Luca Pellegrini. I don't know anything about him. Um, we've been linked to him. I'll put a, in the description of this video. So if you look underneath, there's a description as to what the video is. So I'll say Gio discusses the latest West Ham transfer rumours, that bit. Underneath that, there's a bit about one football with a link. Underneath that, there's a bit about our patron. Underneath that, there's a list of all the players I've mentioned in this video and will mention in this video with a link to the transfer market profile. So you can click it and you go have a read at the players we've been linked to as well. So it doesn't matter if I'm butchering pronunciations or I've never heard of them, you can go and check out the details for oneself. Uh, two more players been linked to as well. Nayef Agard, we've been linked to him, the Rennes centre-back. Goes hand in hand with the, the Issa Diop thing, really, doesn't it? Can't say I know much about him. You know, trying to keep an eye, eye out from African nations when he's playing for Morocco. Didn't notice too much. Didn't really watch loads of Morocco. I watched a lot of the African nations, though. Um, don't watch French football too much. I can't really comment on it. 17 million is the fee. We've been linked to him loads in the past as well. So it's one of them we'll wait and see. Now, the interesting chance for rumour, perhaps, is Craig Dawson is perhaps looking... For a move back up north. Um, I think the words have been taken out of context. I think ex employee mentioned it on his podcast a little bit. But I think it's sort of been twisted and Chinese whispered a little bit. And it's blown up a bit more. It's gone from a nothing story to uh, Dawson is looking to move up north. Thing. I don't believe he is. I don't, um, I'd be shocked if Dawson left West Ham United this summer. And But like I said, I think... It's been taken out of context completely in regards to the, the rumour around it. But the last one being linked to is AZ's left back, who obviously the Netherlands, um, he's a Dutch player as well, is Owen Weindel. Um, one of those players we've all heard of, 22 years old, captain as well, I believe. I believe he's AZ's captain. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong here. 10 assists this season as well. Big numbers, plays in the Dutch national team as well, got a big reputation. But the interesting thing here is he's apparently got a release clause of 10 million. Now, this changes the game a little bit, I think. Um, I can't say too much about him. I do not watch... I don't watch French football. I can guarantee you I don't watch Dutch football very much. Saying that, I don't mind it, actually. I don't, I don't really mind watching Dutch football now and again. But... I can't really tell you anything about the player, to be honest with you. But if you've seen a little bit of Owen, uh, please leave in the comments below because I'm intrigued to hear if people think he'd be the right fit for West Ham. But and if he's got a, if he'd be a bargain at 10 million, it feels like he is because of his reputation and hype, if you like, rather than what I have witnessed him doing on the football pitch. If that makes sense, you get players like that, don't you? But anyway, there you go. There's your improvised West Ham transfer rumour show. Pink boot closed for another week, hopefully. I might do my Jared Bowen video tomorrow. It depends if this thing stops breaking. Um, now I'm going to shut up quick in case it breaks once more. Do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're around here. And I, I might catch you tomorrow. Depends on my computer. See you in a bit.